Okay, uh, my name is Dan Provost, and uh, my project is called Trover, which is an exploration of location and narrative. Um, so I'll start off with a quote uh, from a really great uh, film editor and uh, sound designer, Walter Murch. He says, there's another stage beyond the finished film when the audience views it. You want the audience to be co-conspirators in the creation of this work, just as much as the editor or the mixers or the cameraman or the actors are. Uh, I read this um, kind of even before I started the, the thesis process and it had this kind of profound uh, impact, this idea that uh, the audience is somehow uh, participating uh, was really uh, interesting and appealing to me. So I um, kind of, throughout this whole thesis project, um, my concept is kind of mutated and changed, but um, there are a couple core ideas that uh, remain true the entire time. So the first idea relates to this quote is uh, the audience as an active participant, in this case, uh, in a narrative work. Uh, how can that be facilitated? Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that being passive is bad or wrong, but I wanted to explore uh, what potential there is. Um, I have another quote that has a little more relevance to this panel specifically. Uh, it's from an article in the Times a few months ago. Uh, with the dominance of the cell phone, a new metaphor is emerging for how we organize, find, and use information. That metaphor is the map. So uh, basically this article was about um, kind of location-based uh, applications and how they're kind of all the rage right now and kind of changing the way we organize uh, data and um, kind of the way we think about things. And uh, so that... <clears throat> kind of in a roundabout way comes to my second core idea of how technology uh, can afford new methods of storytelling. Um, so back to that other point, uh, Wired Magazine con concurs that we're having a, a GPS revolution right now. Um, they had an kind of entire magazine dedicated to uh, being location aware and what does geotagging mean and um, how is all this you know, changing the way we, uh, we behave uh, and experience things. Um, and if you go into the iPhone app store and um, kind of search for apps, you'll find plenty that uh, use location awareness um, in some way. Um, the interesting thing to me, though, is that uh, almost across the boards, all of the apps are used for either some kind of utility, like finding a coffee shop near you, or um, kind of a social networking function like uh, finding people that are Twittering around you or something. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, I use Yelp all the time, but uh, there's, there seemed to be kind of an unexplored area. Um, so that's kind of where I've, I've wedged myself uh, with my thesis project. Uh, so Trover is a platform for the iPhone that enables immersive, site-specific, video-based storytelling. The project is entirely mobile in which participants act as collective detectives in search of short video vignettes embedded within New York City. So just to drill down a little bit, um, it can be thought of as a site-specific narrative experience, um, a method of city annotation. Um, the way, my personal favorite way to think of it is uh, an invisible narrative layer that's kind of sitting on top of the city, uh, just waiting to be harvested. Uh, so the, the design questions I was hoping to address uh, with this project, what kind of narrative experience is enabled by this site-specific specific video content? Um, how is the space given new meaning and kind of transformed by uh, watching a, a video narrative within it? And then lastly, how can location, space, and architecture inform a time-based narrative? And how can these uh, things all kind of play off each other and um, kind of recontextualize each other. So I kind of had the platform idea figured out, but I had to uh, then kind of solve what I wanted to do with it. And uh, I have lots of ideas of where I want to take this, um, but to start off, um, what I thought would be fun is to treat it kind of like a film festival. Um, in this case, I call it a mobile location-based film festival, where I basically uh, have an open submission for, uh, for filmmakers to 
use this platform to uh, create a piece, uh, a short kind of you know video vignette that uh, is tied to a specific location and kind of explore the narrative uh, potential for that. So, um, so in order to facilitate something like this, you have to have uh, some incentives for for people to participate. Uh, so one of them was offering a, an iPhone as a prize for the um, the best submission. Uh, another kind of uh, standard uh, um, incentive for film festivals is to have a uh, a panel of jurors of, of notable people um, in in that industry. So. Uh, my advisor, uh, Melanie Crean, actually uh, helped me a bunch um, getting hooked up with uh, some people that, uh, that offer their time to, um, to kind of uh, judge the content uh, that comes in. So just real quick, uh, Steve Hamilton is an editor. He's worked with uh, Ang Lee and, um, and Matthew Barney. Uh, Julia Lochtev is a writer and director. Um, Tommy Pelota produced uh, Waking Life and A Scanner Darkly. And uh, Greg Hale is a producer for uh, the Blair Witch Project and all the hacks and films. So it was uh, really awesome for these people to uh, kind of donate their time uh, to be a part of this project. Um, so yeah, let me hop out of here real quick. <coughs> okay. So this is the application. Um, pretty simple uh, interface. Uh, this is kind of the first thing you see is uh, start searching. So when you press this, um, it's identifying your location and comparing it with a database of uh, movie clips. So if you find something, then you'll get a message um, letting you know that there's, there's a video that exists in the area that you're standing in right now. So uh, we won't watch that now. Um, but so when you find something, then it's then added to your collection, which is here. So this is just kind of a growing list of the content you found, and uh, it allows you to, to view it later. So you could kind of drill in here and uh, read about it, watch it if you wanted. Um, there's a little map to let you remember where it was, and uh, if you click it, it'll take you to the, um, the Google Maps uh, application. Um, Hopping back to the uh, the search page, uh, just to stress that you know I'm treating this uh, as a platform uh, where various things can be done on it. So um, to start off, I'm doing this you know kind of film festival thing. Um, another thing that people kind of always ask for is uh, you know it'd be really cool if you could walk around and find uh, kind of clips from classic movies that were filmed in the city. So maybe you're walking on Brooklyn Bridge and you see part of Annie Hall or something. Uh, you know, another place I want to take this is maybe an alternate reality game or something where there's a, um, a kind of single narrative rather than these discrete clips that are kind of spread throughout the entire city and your incentive to do it is to, um, you know, finish the story and you're taken on this kind of tour through the city. Um, there's a, just a simple uh, mapping functionality using the Google Maps uh, API. So this is just giving you a, a, a little snapshot of uh, where you are and, um, and where kind of the, the nearest clips are in like kind of a 10 block radius. Uh, I'm not sure if this will pop up or not. Oh yeah, it does. Um, so also uh, this idea of collaboration was uh, kind of important to me. And so there's this kind of like embedded web forum. Uh, so, you know, not only can you discuss, you know, the content of the films that you're finding, but also you can collaborate and kind of help people, uh, you know, find, find stuff uh, throughout the city. Um, so that's that. So uh, basically to kind of reiterate, um, you know, I consider this just a uh, kind of a starting point. Uh, and I have the platform in place now, and I'm really excited to see uh, you know, what I do it, with it and also what others uh, can do with it. You know, I mentioned the kind of alternate reality game type thing. Uh, I see a lot of potential there. Um, so yeah, that's it, thanks. <laughs>